Welcome to the Crazy Head Chemist. So another video in bonding and molecular structure. Bam! Today we're doing the resonance structures of the sulfite ion. Sulfite. So what is the formula for sulfite? Okay, it is SO3 2 minus. Now, what is the formula for sulfate? Sulfate. Eight. You ate more, you feel icky, you go, ooh, that has more oxygens. That's SO4 2 minus. Sulfite. Don't fight us. Therefore, it us. Okay, that goes with some acid naming there. Okay, you're going to do the Lewis dot structure for the sulfite ion. Don't forget to add up the valence electrons for oxygen, for sulfur. Okay, Min uh, plus two for the two minus charge. Okay, okay, this is the first one that we're going to get. We're going to get single bonds, a set of lone pair of electrons on that central sulfur. We got that brackets and then two minus charge in the upper right hand corner. Okay, formal charge of negative one on all of the oxygens and a formal charge of a plus one on that sulfur in the middle. Now, notice that there's a formal charge on all three oxygens. That's a total of a negative three. And then the formal charge on the sulfur, that's a plus one. So that adds up to a negative two. That's why the sulfite, it has a SO3, two minus. That's right. Okay. Now, can you do another Lewis dot structure that correctly represents the sulfite ion, another resonance structure. Yes, you can. In fact, many more than just one. So refresh your memory about nitrate ion and then think about this one right here. You got one of these. Now you're going to get another one of these. And then you're getting another one of these yet still here again. So it's like rotating that double bond. Now we're going to get formal charges for all of these. Okay, that is a zero for every single of the ones that have a double bonded oxygen. The sulfur now has a zero formal charge. And each of the singly bonded oxygens has a formal charge of a negative one. Okay, now all three of these resonance structures are going to be the same of this set of three. Okay, you should see again that the formal charge here is perfect and it adds up to negative two. That is both of those oxygens have a negative one formal charge and the other two are zeros. Now you have octets on everything with all of these resonance structures. Okay, now the bottom set are going to be all correct. Okay, and the reason that they are all correct is that they all have the same formal charge, if you will. Okay, and you got a formal charge of zero on that sulfur finally, and yet you have a negative formal charge on oxygens. Now, if you start dumping in more double bonds for those oxygens that are singly bonded, then you're going to start having positive formal charges on the sulfur, and sulfur is electronegative, and that won't be good. Having negative formal charges on that oxygen is actually an okay thing because it is the most electronegative element. Um, all of these structures are AX3E. That is three bonding, one non-bonding. It's trigonal pyramidal in shape, and that's less than 109.5, close to 107. This molecule is polar. Well, it has a net charge of negative two, therefore it's polar. It has dipole bonds. It has polar bonds in it, if you will, and it is asymmetrical because it is trigonal pyramidal. Its shape is trigonal pyramidal, therefore it is polar. And that is the end of that one, and I gotta go diving soon, okay? Because I'm looking for treasure. All right, I'll see you later. I gotta go.